Hello Pisces, welcome to Berkeley True Tarot and this reading is from 25th of November to 30th of November so let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Pisces. Knight of Swords. Three of Wands, Three of Swords, Knight of Wands, The Hermit, The Magician. Okay, so here we have Three of Swords. With the Three of Swords, uh, this is about some kind of pain that this person cannot forget. And we know that you cannot forget either. We have the Hermit here. This person is trying to avoid some kind of reality. They don't want to accept that um, you are gone or you are done with them. They don't want to accept that uh, you are not around. We have this Knight of Wands here. You might be dealing with a prayer. Okay, Pisces, this person is someone who will not stop. They want your attention and then they will be looking for someone else's attention and this keeps on going. You may have told them that you don't like this, but still they couldn't uh, respect the boundaries, they still couldn't uh, stop themselves from uh, flirting around just because they wanted to feel special and desired. This Knight of Wands is not someone who is serious and uh, they feel that things can work with all their flaws. They are not ready to work on those flaws. They are not ready to work on anything. This person is uh, also restless. You won't understand who they are. First, they act like they don't care. They want they don't want you in their life, or they don't care if you are there. And then they start acting desperate with this Knight of Swords. They just uh, get mad when you're not around. They want to find you. They want to see you. They want to contact you. It's like. Uh, they won't contact you for a while after an argument or a breakup and then after some time this person will contact you they will try to be friends they will try to be around you this person is a magician okay they say something today they say something else tomorrow this magician is creating magic to keep you there to keep you uh, interested in them they will always come up with some kind of idea to impress you. This person knows what they should say and what they should uh, do. Okay, this person could be quite romantic. They are simply amazing when it comes to love. But, uh, you know, when it comes to sticking to commitment, they are not doing much. And uh, that is definitely something to worry about with the Three of Wands. This person is not ready to lose this relationship. They can't nurture it, they can't appreciate your efforts, they can't stick to their words, but they can't lose it as well. Whenever they feel like they're losing it, they go desperate. They want to make sure that it keeps growing, you stay there, and uh, things between you two get all right once again. But the thing is, they are not... Um, you know, trying sincerely. So, seems like uh, this person has got the best things to say, but they're not, um, you know, serious about those things. With the Three of Swords, this person is not ready to accept that uh, this relationship is over. It's like every time I go back, I go back to Pisces, uh, everything is sorted out. Why to worry about this? Maybe Pisces is not here, they are angry. I will go to them, I will do something so that they trust me once again. 
and it will be okay. Instead of working on themselves, they are feeling like, uh, you know, it would be easier if they can use the right words, maybe they are going to give you some gifts. They will try to please you, they will try to show you that they do care, but you will have to pay attention to the details. You will have to make sure what you see is reality. The magician is going to create magic, it's going to create an illusion, and you will have to check if it is real or not, if uh, they are serious this time. Okay, so of course this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more masters for you. Nine of Cups. Ace of Wands. Four of Swords. And Three of Cups. Okay, so here we have Four of Swords. Now this person is feeling that uh, without any real connect connection, they are alone. Without you, they may have a thousand people around, but uh, there is nothing deep. There is no one who is serious about them either. They are not serious about anybody and nobody is serious about them. And uh, they are now understanding how it feels to be not taken seriously. And uh, this is hurting them to the core. With the Three of Cups, they are feeling that they are enjoying their life but the thing is they are in danger okay they are feeling that they will be alone in the future if they do not uh, change anything about this connection they feel that uh, if you leave them or if you choose to um, be without them i mean that's the same if you leave them they feel that they will be stuck here forever. Here you see this card. We have this dangerous fish and uh, then people separating here. So somehow on the surface it looks like that these people are happy. They are enjoying their life but the truth is that they are in danger. And uh, same is their case. They are feeling that uh, maybe the world thinks they are cool and people are interested in them. They are desirable, they are enjoying their life, but the truth is that uh, the world cannot see this half picture and uh, it's quite dangerous. We have this Ace of Wands here, they are wishing to start something new with you because we have this Nine of Cups also, so they are manifesting something, manifesting a union with you and uh, they feel that this can actually work and you both will be together. Ace of Wands is about uh, starting a new journey. They feel that uh, you can forget about anything in the past and you both can be together. You both can create something beautiful together. But again, they will first try to take the easier path. They will try to uh, win your heart with words and uh, everything that they can do with gifts and other things. But uh, when it comes to serious commitment, they are still um, not ready to work on it completely. And that could be a problem. But if you choose to, they will definitely work on themselves. Because clearly I see that this person is alone. Okay, they are somewhere where nobody can reach them. Seems like they cannot connect to anyone else. And that is something... Uh, making them feel like they are not alive even okay let's check an oracle message for you intuition you hold the answers you know the truths ancient ones await behind the doors of the mind your intuitions are telling you the true story so when they approach you Trust your gut feeling. 
if it's about uh, giving them another chance. If you feel like uh, they deserve another chance, then say uh, yes. If you don't feel like you are ready for it, ask for some time. If you feel like you don't want it, tell it. So intuition is the best thing at this point and uh, you already have learned a lot so you are wise enough to take a decision and uh, do not ignore your gut feeling. So this was the reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.